Well, we are watching a couple of systems in the Pacific, both of which will bring some ample moisture to California, but also create some spring weather of severe storms and snow for the central U.S. So it was another uh, several days of melting snowpack as uh, the Northern Hemisphere spring gets going. You really can notice it here from last week's storm in the central and northern plains. That snow all gone now after some warm temperatures and also decreased snowpack in the northeast here, of course, over the last several days. Red flag warnings in those areas that are dry uh, across much of Iowa, Missouri, Kansas, Nebraska, western Minnesota, South Dakota today. Elevated fire threat here because of really low relative humidity values single digits or even just teens of a percent of relative humidity as we had in the afternoon hours combined with some gusty winds and some record warm temperatures. We're going to see wind gusts as high as 50 miles an hour across the Dakotas today into northwestern Minnesota, a little less as you go south, but uh, these are some pretty dry areas that haven't had snow cover or moisture combined with uh, that really low relative humidity. But we've got some moisture for some of us coming. Uh, one system here off the coast of California is going to deliver some rain to Southern California here over the next 36 to 48 hours. But another system farther off into the Pacific is going to deliver another shot of moisture for mostly Central and Northern California. And that will develop a, a pretty decent spring storm here as we head into the end of the week and next weekend across the plains in the Central US here uh, with the upper level low reaching Lake Superior by late Saturday. It's going to bring a variety of precipitation types just as these spring storms typically do. But first, uh, rain moving into California as we head into tonight and tomorrow, Southern California. This one won't be particularly heavy, but any little bit of moisture is good here. Southern California seeing, of course, just a fraction of normal winter rain. Uh, so generally a couple tenths of an inch to maybe a half inch of rain. But the second round of moisture that comes in Wednesday, Thursday, that's going to deliver some ample moisture for central and northern California. Of course, snow in the higher elevations, but uh, southern California will also get in on that one. So in total, we're talking one to two inches of rainfall this week for southern California, which is desperately needed. And then that storm will continue into the central U.S. severe weather uh, with rain turning to snow across the Dakotas, Minnesota, into Ontario, uh, and also uh, across across Canada, that storm system will continue. So the severe threat with this first wave, the system that's bringing rain to California here the next 24 hours will head into the Southern Plains, South Central US, so uh, Texas into Arkansas, Louisiana, marginal risk of severe weather Wednesday into Wednesday night. But we're gonna have to watch Friday into Friday night, potentially a, a stronger risk of severe storms here across Arkansas, Missouri, maybe as far north as Eastern Iowa and the Southern tip of Wisconsin. Uh, as we see some very warm air and moisture make its way uh, much farther north than usual for this time of year. A lot of water with this system too. We're talking two to three inches of rainfall here. Kentucky into Tennessee, northern Mississippi, Alabama, and Georgia. And some of these areas are pretty saturated already. Of course, they've been seeing quite a bit of flooding in Kentucky and Tennessee. So this is 30-day uh, percentage of normal rainfall and double or triple the normal value of rainfall. So heavy rain on top of those areas is not going to be good news here for late in the week into the weekend. And as I mentioned, there is that potential for some heavy wet spring snow too. Right now the model's pretty good agreement of favoring western, northwestern Minnesota into north and south Dakota for some potential heavy wet spring storm. So an active weather week here as uh, the atmosphere gets energized as we head further and further into meteorological spring.